Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy, Speedier. And today, we're talking about Marcy. This hero is beyond busted. I've had a couple people tell me, oh, she can't farm neutral camps. Blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter. Have you clicked her ulti? Do you know what it does? <laughs> you know how she has a, a blink that can't be canceled? An ability that tosses people under towers in the laning stage, which I'll be showing you. Infinite sustain. Some of the best base stats in the game. Like, how can you tell me? That you think like one flaw. All right, it's besides the point. Today, we're going to be talking about offlane. Marcy, I think this is the best role for Marcy. However, I will say she easily, and I and I can't stress this enough, easily can be played in any role. It's like Monkey King when Monkey King originally came out. He could be played in any role. Why? Because the hero was simply broken. Marcy is broken. Game Leap certified broken. Absolutely broken. Every certain version of broken you could come up with, Marcy absolutely fits that. By the way, guys, if you want to become absolutely broken, well, what you need to do is sign up to the Game Leap website down below right now. The reason why you should do that is because every single day we post a new video there. Content that you simply just will never get on YouTube, we post every single day to the website. It's really top tier stuff. I'm very proud of what I make over there. We also have other creators, many of my great friends who are top tier Dota players creating guides about different heroes, different roles, different items, skill builds, talent builds, everything you need to know to get to the next rank. So if you feel a little bit lost, you're a little bit stuck, click the link down below. I'll see you guys there. And now let's get into the video. So the starting item build I go is two branches, three tangos. I instantly ship out another three tangos. So I have six, two gauntlets, and then a quelling blade. You will end up needing mana regen throughout the lane. This hero is a very mana intensive hero if you take your W. Just in general, every single spell is an active, relatively low cooldown uh, with decently high mana costs and you will need mana regen as a result. But these are my starting items. After that, I primarily like to take my Q at level one. I think there's some value in taking W at level one. I don't like the E. It's just too long of a cooldown, even though it is a really good spell. It, yeah, it's just too long of a cooldown. 36 seconds, it's rough. However, the W is pretty good at level 1. It just lets you jump on people, secure range creeps. Uh, if your position 4 is trading with the 5, you can hop on over, help them out. However, I think the Q is the most reliable. It's just a stupid good spell. It might not seem like it at first, but being able to toss someone into a creep wave and wildly out of position is just broken. Like, th the main concept here is if I toss Dawnbreaker from here to here, she has to run, right? I, I mean, to be fair, Dawnbreaker is one of those heroes where maybe she could slightly man up, but you can imagine the average hero is just screw right and upcoming here is the first example of this people don't see it coming which is another thing that makes this hero even more broken they kind of just forget what you do and i can toss dawnbreaker under the tower and deal 75 percent of her health for absolutely free and you can imagine this is going to be the main gist of my laning stage what i try to do early on is get the wave back through a series of creep aggro and denying creeps and then when i get the wave next to tower i just toss people back into it over and over and over again and so basically the main gist of this hero is just be aggressive at level one. You have really good stats, a good animation. You can see I'm even tossing an Ursa into me. You might be like, oh, that, that's a bad idea. The thing is, it's so out of position for Ursa that if I need to disengage or if he ever chases, he's just going to overcommit, right? So like, it, it's brutal for him, right? It's brutal. And so as a result, we're even able to get a kill. Like, that's the thing. You have unlimited mobility. So if you chuck someone from here to here, there's no way they get away. Right? If they're in kill range, they're in kill range. And honestly, kill range for most heroes against Marcy is 75% health. No joke, if you catch a CM and you throw her back to here, even if she doesn't go on her tower, she will die if you are level 2. Alright, now let's get into how to cast the spells as Marcy and her major spike. Anyone who tells you that this hero isn't good, I don't know, I, like... I feel like this clip just goes to show you why. I mean, there's a million clips. This game is just a beatdown. I go 13 and 1 and just clap them, but th this first fight... Is a great example of that. Yes, I'm off to a pretty good start, but honestly, I feel like that's not surprising. If you're losing lane as Marnie, you're doing something wrong. Like, this hero generally is going to win the lane. Of course, it has some bad matchups, like Viper or something like that. But in general, you can see in this fight here, right? So I lead in. Okay, we, we, I was kind of just messing with this guy. I just want to chip him down with the snap fire. Turns out we're getting ganked, okay? Obviously, here I'm looking at my cooldowns. I'm like, okay, four seconds to ulti. Sort of need to kite out. I get a two-man stun onto the Murana and onto the Ursa. So I set up there. Beautifully done there, in my opinion. Then I turn on my ulti and I start hitting. If you don't know how the ulti works, basically you get three hits quickly, right? These three hits are based off your auto attacks. Then on the last hit, you do a pulse. This pulse does damage. Then after you do the three hits and you do the pulse after 1.5 seconds, you get another three more. This also scales up to four, then five. 
And so basically, you just want to get in these three hits as much as possible during your ulti. And you can see in this clip here, with one hit from the ulti, I basically force out all of Mirana's HP. Now, unfortunately, she's still out of leap here, and this might look pretty bad. It's like, oh, speed, you're under tower. But the thing is, now I'm able to pop my E. And by the way, this synergizes with your ulti. You get lifesteal from your ulti auto attacks. You also get the bonus damage on each and every auto attack. So it's very important when you have your ulti going to also pop your sidekick. You should always use these abilities in uh, in tandem. And so, yeah, this guy's like, oh, you know, she's low. Yeah, well, unfortunately for him. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> ah. Very nice. I did three-fourths of a Dawnbreaker's HP at minute nine. All right, so most of the mid-game, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pushing in a lane. The reason for this is Marnie. As I sort of mentioned in the intro, her biggest weakness as a hero is that, yes, she doesn't really jungle. And so it's very important to understand what this hero does best is push in lanes. You do not want to run around and roam and just, like, wander around aimlessly. Her biggest advantage of a hero is she has 1700 HP at minute 16 with an armlet and a falcon blade. Also, by the way, you don't have to go the falcon blade. This was a bit experimental. However, I do really like armlet, soul ring, and wand every single game. I think these are quite necessary. Moving on from that, though, you want to be in lanes, guys, okay? This hero needs to be in lanes. It has a flicker, right? Its W is a blink dagger, essentially, that can't be canceled. And so you're one of the hardest heroes in the game to get ganked. If you do get ganked, you have a stun to protect yourself. You have lifesteal in your ulti to man up. Most heroes can't even man up to you. If an axe blinks calls you, he's not going to burst you. And nine times out of ten, you can just straight up turn on him. And so this hero is really good at playing alone and taking over dangerous portions of the map. You can see as I'm mid here, this Dawnbreaker walks up to me. Instead of panicking and being like, oh, I don't know where the enemy team is. I don't care. I literally insta-kill her with, with the help of the Snapfire. And yeah, you don't really need a lot of farm to be broken on this hero. Like, unironically, all you need is armlet. And the reason why armlet's busted on this hero is you easily sustain the 40 health drain per second. It's not a problem whatsoever. And then armlet gives you 50 damage, which means every set of three attacks, that's 150 damage. It is a stupid good item on Marcy. In fact, I think it's practically a necessity every single game. But as you can see, I go on the co-op here and with a couple of autos, every single set of four autos here do about almost half of Quap's HP. I don't know how anyone thinks this is balanced. Literally, that is once again on a 1.5 second cooldown, like quote unquote, the, like the, the Fury, I do almost half of this Dawnbreaker's HP and it comes up again now. <laughs> I know what? And the saddest part about this clip is it doesn't even end there. The Ursa ends up chasing me, but I still had a little bit of time on my ulti left. And we kill him from full HP and disengage. Okay. Moving on to your next set of items. You just, just go BKB, guys. Please just go BKB. You do enough damage. You don't need another damage. I know for a fact people are going to be like, Oh my god, I can go Deso into Daedalus. Guys, if you go Deso into Daedalus, all right? Even though Deso is not too bad, it's, it, it's all right. It doesn't make you very tanky. But even if, if you go a build like that, you are wasting, hardcore wasting, your ridiculous 15 to 25 minute timing on this hero or 15 to 30 minute timing. Okay, does she scale late game as well? Absolutely. But this hero's mid game is so stupid. That is the most broken part of this hero. Besides the fact that it's the laning stage is also insane. It's mid game is what you want. Look at this clip here. Okay, I walk in. I have like... Decent net worth. I definitely have pretty good net worth this game. I'm 9 and 1, right? Definitely decent net worth. But you can imagine, it's not even close. I don't even, I didn't need net, net worth to make this good. Look at this Ursa. He's like, yeah, you know, I, I can man up to this guy. I'm an Ursa. It's <laughs> jokes on you, kid. Two shot. He might be like, oh, it was AA blast. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it, I, I could have solo killed that guy. Like, unironically, I don't, I, you can even use people to bounce on top of them. So if you guys didn't know, I, I'll explain all of the spells like, really really closely now okay number one your ulti it makes you hit fast right then it also does damage on the last hit slows movement speed slows attack speed okay we know that the e it gives you life steal for six seconds and bonus damage for six seconds you also can use it on a teammate right so when you use it on a teammate it also gets used on yourself so basically you can put it on two people if you cast it on yourself and you're next to a teammate it will also cast it on them without you selecting them your w basically i'm not going to tell you how to use it just go practice in the lobby if you want 
You just click on someone's rag and then, yeah, you, you do a bunch of damage wherever you land. You slow them by 60% for three seconds, which is insane on a nine second cooldown, which is also insane. And then finally, your Q is a single target spell. You chuck them backwards, you stun them and they do damage. Really simple Q. But yeah, as you see in this clip here, I can bounce off the Dawnbreaker in front of her. And then with two sets of autos, with a 2.5k gold item doing the majority of the damage, I almost two shot her. And it doesn't get any better from Rana as I nearly one shot her with a Q and a set of autos. By the way, as we are getting into the back half of the video now, I do want to mention I'm going to be making a position 5 and position 4 Marcy guide for the website. I played a game where I went Vel. It was a very interesting build. I also went some cool items that I made big plays with in the mid to late game as well. So if you're interested in that build and playing this hero as a support and gaining very easy MMR as a result of that, click the link down below and sign up on the website. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see you guys there. All right, unfortunately, that's the end of this game. It was an absolute stomp, but honestly, I think a lot of the games with this hero <laughs> are stomps. And if they're not, I think it's because people really don't know what to do. But I've played this hero three times now, and honestly, every single game, it felt stupid broken. Like, <laughs> if, if you're struggling on it, hopefully this video helps. But I can assure you guys, for anyone who's having doubts about whether or not Marcy is broken, guys, she is broken. She's broken. Wildly broken. Maybe the most broken thing I've ever seen. And lastly, just for items in the mid to late game, if you're curious about like what are some options that you could go, basically I think committing to DPS is very reasonable after the BKB. You're plenty tanky after armlet BKB, and so good items are Scotty, Satanic is really cool, Daedalus is obviously a very natural option. You kind of just have to determine what you're doing. If you're against a Morphling and a Sniper, you should probably go Scotty. If you're against heroes that can man up pretty well, maybe, you know, they have some overfarm Sven or some PA that you want to man up to, you can go Satanic. And if you're just like solo killing people and the enemy team is pretty squishy, or you just in general, you feel like you have to be the damage dealer, you can, you know, hop into a Daedalus. And yeah, that's going to be all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you over on the website. Peace! And that's all, but remember, before you leave, come on, before you tune out, subscribe to the Game Leap website, where we are going to help you get to the next rank. If you're stuck, click the link down below, and I'm out. Peace.